Hey, this is a multi-part series and I have linked part number one in the video description down below. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources, chat with fellow students. And by the way, it's completely free. So let's start with video. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of our base files that we are using in this very module and in um, the next chapters which we assume are exported from our ERP system and hold base information and I'm going to show you the NIME workflow you are going to create together with me and the result and what we want to do with it. Alright, so what you can see here is basically a base file which looks like an extract from an ERP system which holds purchase order information. You could see vendors, buyers, we see an abbreviation or a codification if you want of payment terms, we see PO numbers, we see a material field code here. We see the purchase order date, the delivery address, and the value of the purchase order. Short disclaimer, of course, this is all made up and example data with some household names here. Of course, Adobe and Apple maybe do not deliver what we're looking at, but it's just for example purposes. One special task that we will have during our workflows is the format in which systems usually export. You can see that we have three empty columns here in Microsoft Excel to the left, that we have a header section. And if we go down to the bottom of this file, you see that we also have a total section. I'm going to show you and you're going to learn how we can skip these to work only with the pure data. So now let's have a look at the workflow. This is the workflow we are going to create. There are several nodes in here. We will cover what the node logic and the visual logic is in the very next chapter. We will also create this whole workflow from scratch. We will cover what these yellow and red um, and orange and green colors here in these notes mean how you can apply them and all the ins and outs to create such a workflow from scratch. So before we finish that lesson, let me just quickly show you what you're going to create. So what we're going to create is not only an enriched base data file, as you can see here, but a list of suppliers and a priority on which to focus on because the example use case that we have is we want to improve our payment terms. That's a very standard task that comes regu up regularly in the world of procurement. So we have basically a list of suppliers and we also have a cash flow improvement or cash flow impact here. And this list is what comes out of NIME at the end of our workflow. And in this example, it tells us on which uh, supplier we should focus first because it an improvement of payment terms would have the greatest cash flow impact. So that's it for this overview. See you in the next lesson. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.